much should you be spending on your marketing? Guys, Kim Barrett here, your social voice. I was just jumping out of the gym because I thought it was a really interesting question that we do get a fair bit. And a lot of times people think they know the answer, but they also don't know the answer as well. So the big question is like, how much should you be spending on your marketing, on your advertising in totality, in 100% confirmed, how much should you be spending? Now I'll get to that in just a minute, but I also want to talk to you about when should you be spending money there, right? So because a lot of people go, well, if things are good, I don't have to spend money on marketing or if things are bad, that's when I should be spending more money on marketing, advertising, all these things. And I think the opposite, right? And now I'll tell you why in just a second, but I believe and look, this is not just myself, but I know like when I, I went went to university, studied marketing, management, all these things, that's probably the only thing I did take from them is number one, how much should you be spending on these things? And number two, when should you be doing it? Because most people, and this may not be you, but most people will actually start to spend money on things when it goes bad, right? If everything's going well and you're getting referrals, you've got people coming into you all the time, everything's working nicely, you're like, I don't need to spend money on advertising or marketing because it's working. And that is generally speaking, the time when things start to go down, right? That's when you wanna be, be focused on that because you do have the resources at that point in time to spend the money, right? Think about it for a second. You do have the money at that point in time to spend the money on marketing and advertising. Whereas normally if you're in constraint, if you're in a period of time where cash flow is down, sales are down, you don't have the money to double down on things. You don't have the money to increase your spend on marketing, advertising, all that fun stuff. So, when times are tough, when times are, um, you know, are, are hard, that is when you know you should have already been spending money. Now, look, there are ways to reactivate clients, get money coming in at those points in time. However, however, it's much easier if when times are good, you start to go harder. So I highly recommend, that's the first point. I'm gonna cover the second point. I'm just gonna head into the office now and I will cover that off, but it's how much should you be spending then, right? How much should you, if you're, um, if you're up to, things are already going well, how much should you be spending? If things are going, you know, if you wanna uh, scale things up, how much should you be spending in just a general across the board? Because a lot of times people ask and they're like, oh, I couldn't spend that. I shouldn't spend this. I can't spend that. And they haven't really thought or mapped out and understood why they need to, if they need to, etc. Right. So we're gonna head in the office now, and we'll cover off on the next point on how much you should be spending. All right. Stay tuned. Just got to the office, guys. So <clears throat> let's pick this back up. How much should we be spending on our marketing? Now, universally, universally speaking, there is a rule, a hard and fast rule. Now, this rule is based off of revenue. Okay, based off of revenue. Now, some people will get upset at me for saying this. Some people will say it's incorrect or whatever it might be. That's cool. But the universally accepted rule, all right, rule is 10%. 10% of revenue should be put towards your marketing and your advertising, okay? Now, I'm not saying that that needs to be your media spend, okay? I'm not saying that you need to spend 10% of your revenue on Facebook ads, like paying Facebook or Google or radio or TV or whatever that is. But the totality of your marketing efforts should be correlating to around about 10% of revenue. So that includes if you pay someone to do it, if you have an internal person, all these things, collectively should be around 10% of revenue. So a lot of people, you might go, oh wow, okay, that's interesting. But a lot of people might be going, wow, I'm not spending anywhere near that or I'm spending over that. Now, yes, there are times when you would spend more than that. So for example, if you're in high growth phases, you might actually be spending 20%. Now you gotta be careful and make sure that all your margins, etc., allow for that to happen because otherwise bad things can happen. But um, yeah, so if you are, like let's just say that you're making 500 grand a year, you should be spending at least 50, right? I would say, I'd probably say you'd be spending a little bit more. Maybe you'd be spending close to hundred ish um, depending on if you want to grow if you're stable then maybe you're spending just that um, that flat 50k but I think it's very very important to take into consideration that you should have an allocation I'm not saying that you need to spend it I'm not saying that you have to spend it I'm just saying that you should be allocating towards spending that because otherwise what you find is that when 
the economy contracts, which in Australia has happened a little bit recently. Um, I know it's happened in the US. People are saying people are in or out of it. It doesn't really matter. But the thing to remember is that if times are good, that's when you should be spending more. You can, If you can push through and allocate even more of your budget towards it, if you are having a good period of growth, then thumbs up, well done, keep pushing. Now, I would say for people that are in startup mode, you've, you're kicked off. Depending on how you bring clients in at the moment, if you haven't really figured out any strategies um, offline or anything like that, then I would be saying that you should be spending yeah, like you should be probably spending maybe a little bit more, maybe 15, 20%. Um, and it's just from, as I said, from what I've studied, from what I've learned, from what they teach you at universities and colleges, not saying that everything there is accurate, but I do know that that number seems to be around about right. Like I know um, for ourselves and clients, if they turn over around a million dollars per year, spending about that 100K on marketing, marketing people, strategy and things like that, generally speaking, will come in about that. I know that it's very easy for me to spend about a thousand bucks a week on Facebook ads easily without any other spend. That's not taking into account someone running our ads, all this other sort of stuff. Very easily for us to spend that we can spend way more. Now, obviously, if it's profitable and it's working, you can spend scale and increase as well. However, I do recommend allocating that as part of your budget because most people don't. And like I said, it may work for the moment, but I know businesses where things change and then they don't have the funds, the capital to help push them through the constrictive times because times were good, they didn't spend money on advertising, then they've got to start up, it's costly, and then they're already behind the eight ball and way, way behind the eight ball. So if you're watching this, make sure you have a marketing budget allocation, you've put together and you've identified how much you should be spending on your marketing and just, Allocate, as I'm not saying you have to spend it. Start allocating, start putting towards going, okay, cool, if I have to pay someone to do this, how much would it cost me? If I've got to uh, spend money on this ad placement, how much is it gonna cost me? And start to think about and go, okay, cool, I'm willing to spend up to that, you know, like I'm willing to allocate up to that area. Sometimes I said it might be more. It might be more because you might have to pay someone to do it for you as well, so it might be a little bit more than that, but you should. You should be seeing a good, solid return if you do allocate that amount. As I said, if you are in high growth phases, times are good and you can allocate and spend more, do so. Because you don't wanna be in the constrictive circumstances where things go bad, things go tough, and then you've gotta sit there and try and figure out how to do it, how to create something from nothing. Can it be done? Yes. We have, We have. In the very first days when we started, we had to do that all the time, but it's not fun, right? You'd much rather have predictable levels of growth, predictable levels of marketing spend to allow you to grow as opposed to trying to figure everything else out. It becomes hard, right? So guys, I wanted to share that with you today. So I encourage you to allocate, set your marketing budget. Again, even just by listening to this, it doesn't matter if you choose 10%, choose something, right? Wish you all the best. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button, give me some love. Um, comment, let me know anything uh, that you thought about this, any questions you have. Maybe you've got um, questions about your marketing budget. Let me know and I'll help you out. And always subscribe so you can see this first before anyone else. Until next time, I am Kim Barrett. You have been awesome. Adios.